Hello, everyone. I hope you all can see me and hear me clearly. So there was a YouTube comment by someone who said that my audio in one of the previous few videos, the audio quality wasn't so good. So I brought up my old uh, speaker. So obviously it works this time around. Let me know if otherwise, so I will invest in some other speaker and microphone system. Cool, so today what I would like to talk about is another YouTube subscriber of mine who has left a, a comment. Uh, that person is suffering from a very bad uh, Ashtama Sunni. So asked me to have a look and I got that person's uh, permission to actually uh, talk about it in a video. So this is the video where I analyze it in an in-depth manner. So I hope it benefits uh, at least a few of you who are going through Ashtavasani. So obviously you are Midhina Rasi right now. So uh, I'm going to display that person's chart and the uh, Dasa and Bhukti that they are running. Uh, obviously, the Dasa and Bhukti is suspended due to the Ashtama Sunni. So Sunni will definitely put it on hold and run its course of uh, Ashtama Sunni. So I'm going to display it on the screen now, the person's chart. Okay, so you can see that the person is uh, Midhanarasi, obviously. The Laknam is uh, Mina Laknam where in the Laknam itself, you have Silvai or Mars, which is the se uh, second and the ninth house owner. So it's a Bakium uh, planet for this native. Uh, Midhanarasi, the Natchatram is uh, Punarpusam. The owner of Punarpusam is uh, Jupiter, who is on the Rasi itself with the Surian or the sun. So when you have the sun and the moon conjuncting in one house, obviously we know that that is um, Amavasa. And if you look opposite from the Rasi, you can see Saturn is seated there, uh, looking at the planet and the star chart or the table above, you can see that Sunny is in uh, Dhanasu, obviously seven houses away from Midhanam. And you can see that the planet itself is going in retrograde at 29 degrees retrograde. So he is at the Sandhi, at the edge of a 30 degree house. Every house, is, uh, every house in the astrological chart is 30 degrees. So 2947 is very close to the edge, but he's going in retrograde. Obviously the major planets like Jupiter, Sun, Mars, if they are seven houses plus away from the sun, you will have an, a retrograde effect. So we can assume that Saturn is in Danasu, very much uh, nestled inside it. And the star or the Natchatram that Sunny is sitting on is uh, Uttratadi. Uh, that owner of Uttratadi is the sun itself, who is an arch enemy of uh, Saturn. So Sunny is not in a pleasant uh, form for this native. So he's in a very agitated mood and uh, looking directly. So having a drishti of the sun and the moon and Jupiter itself. Jupiter pacifies Sunny to an extent, but the arch enemy is also looking at it, the sun which is the father, the moon is the mother, but the sun, as per the stories and the legends of uh, Sunny, we know that uh, sun's uh, drishti or the sight of the sun is causing even more grief for the planet Saturn. So what does that mean? Well, the native is going through an Ashtama Sunny. Uh, just finished a 19 years um, sunny period itself. So the sunny dasa, 19 years, is just over for this native. Uh, this person is uh, just starting a mercury dasa. 
और बुधन दशा वेल द मिदुन राशि ओनर इज मैक्यूरी इट सेल्फ नाउ एस आई हैव मेंशनड दशा भुक्ति सिस्टम्स और इफेक्ट्स आर नॉट कैरिड आउट एंटायरली अबाउट फिफ्टीन परसेंट इज रन बाय द दशा भुक्ति एटी फाइव परसेंट इज अष्टम सनी इज इफेक्ट सो it's uh sunny suspends the mercury effects which is actually quite good for this person mercury is the fourth and seventh house owner which is a, a very good uh kendram for this uh, mina lagnam native anyway let's look at ashtama sunny then we look at all the other effects so ashtama sunny for this person punarpusam first padam punarpusam is a uh, a uh, star owned by jupiter guru who is on the rasi itself so guru signifies amongst other things income food jupiter is also husband uh has this person gotten married yet have a look in the uh, rishabha rasi because we are talking about husband mercury is there with venus venus the house owner of rishabham is in rishabham itself right venus is the significator for romance intimacy marriage uh, love affairs and uh, seventh house owner is mercury mercury next to venus well this person you can say that they have made their entire life about their marriage about their spouse the partner that is everything for this person and uh, they prize romance and the idea of being in a romantic uh, relationship is very strong so ashtama sani what does it affect this person it affects uh, income or the capability for uh, making income that is affected in a very profound way jupiter is affected in a amavasya state uh sunny is looking at it so sunny uh dulls the effect of income capabilities meaning that this person is most likely jobless for the entire length of ashtama sunny in fact at the end of the sunny dasa uh, guru bhakti it, itself that was uh, starting started and ended started 2019 some in july ended in uh, 2022 april thereabouts was a very average and below average slightly below average timeline for this person after masani has actually sped up that process has created the effect to increase many folds at least 12 15 times worse than the jupiter uh, bhukti in the sani dasa so sani dasa budan uh, sorry sani dasa guru bhakti jupiter bhakti sani will affect the uh, income capabilities but ashtama sani takes it to a whole new level that is a different spin altogether so first thing income and this person has had not enough sleep because jupiter looks at the 5th house 7th house and 9th house from where it is sitting it is looking at house number uh from the lagnam i'm uh, counting he's looking at house number 8 house number 10 house number 12 8 and 12 is the houses of uh overseas travel long distance travel crossing a river or an ocean so heart aches and despair from overseas has been going on for this person this person if has gone overseas has been stuck we all know that uh, effects of covid the pandemic has caused the borders to be closed has caused uh, flights to be suspended and uh, if you don't get a certain number of uh, covid shots the vaccine shots you are not able to step on a plane uh, visa problems and what not so all of that hard aches income capabilities have been affected due to overseas uh being let go because the overseas headquarter company in the overseas branch has been shut so they have to let go of uh, employees so the uh, domino effect 
has cascaded to this uh, native of uh, Midunarasi. And uh, children is also signified by Jupiter. So this person might have wanted to um, have children, wanted to carry, uh, become pregnant. Uh, health issues affecting the womb, uh, affecting ovaries, affecting uh, capabilities of uh, carrying a child. Also, the moon is there. Moon represents anything fluid, an organic system in the body, which is fluid. Uh, for example, blood, uh, any fluid in the body. If it's a female, we can, I mean, being very direct, it's the uh, menstrual uh, system, uh, menstrual blood, uh, fluid in the spine. So this person may not be able to bear children because the spine is not strong, for example. So affecting the capability of having children. And remember, looking at this chart, remember that um, for Amina Lagnam, the sun is the sixth house owner and sixth house is one of the Dus Dustana houses, which signifies uh, enemies, diseases, debts, as in uh, financial debt. So sixth house owner is next to Jupiter. So you can imagine a debt effect, financial uh, blowout has happened. Jupiter is a significator of gold. We have to recall that uh, this system of astrology was uh, made when the currency of commerce was actually gold a few thousand years ago. So Jupiter signifies gold. Sun uh, represents enemies in because 6,000 owner. Enemies, for example, government might be a very uh, crucial and critical enemy for this person because the sun in those days represented the king, the kingdom, uh, government in the present day context. So we can say that there is some hindrance for this person, unable to secure a particular license to practice a particular job. For instance, this person would have made a very good teacher because guru is looking at the 10th house guru by the exact Sanskrit definition itself means teacher. So guru uh, being in the, in the um, career part of a teacher would be good, would have been good for this person. Banking line, yes, to an extent, but not necessarily because you need a very strong second house uh, from the Lucknam to be in the banking sector. If this person had been in the banking sector, has lost their job due to Astamashani, after Astamashani, will this person be granted uh, access back into the banking sector? No. The second house uh, is a house of uh, Mesham uh, owned by Savai or Aries owned by Mars. Mars is in the Lagnum, which is strength by itself. If you look at the Navamsa, Mars is uh, in the house of Sunny, and Sunny is next to the sun, which is agitation, right? So any planet like Mars and Venus, if you, I'm, I'm looking at the Navamsa chart now, Mars is in uh, Magaram, Venus is in Kumbham, in the Navamsa chart, both houses owned by the planet Saturn. Saturn, where is it? It's next to the sun in the Navamsa chart. So an agitated planet owns two houses. Any other planet which is in that house owned by Saturn is not going to be happy either. Why? The house owner is not happy. Hence, the... Um, planets residing in those houses are not going to be happy as well. Again, this is a cascading effect. It is one of the um, uh, rules of uh, Vedic astrology. Anyhow, coming back to the Rasi chart on the left, you can say, as mentioned, second house, 
from the Laknam uh, Mesham. There is no sight from Guru. There is no intervention or sight from uh, Venus. But looking at the Rasi house, Midanam, you can see Sunny is looking at it, which is one negative uh, planet. Also, Savai, Mars, through its fourth sight, fourth Drishti, is lo also looking at the house of Midanam. So two negative or malefic planets are looking in the fourth house. Fourth house is also the house of the mother. Yeah? Matru uh, Stanam is the fourth house, and you have the moon also there having the sight of two negative planets. So what is going to affect? Heartaches due to mother. In, in very extreme cases, the loss of mother is also there. Loss doesn't mean doesn't necessarily mean death. Could also mean uh, moving away from the mother, having a fight and running away from the mother's house, or chasing away the mother from the native's own house. All these are possibilities, very strong possibilities. All right. But Guru being in that house somehow allays or somewhat allays or um, reduces the effect of that. So meaning what? After the effect of Ashtama Sunny, after 2023 January, the chances of getting back together with mother is very high. So that will happen. Uh, also looking at the fact that after Ashtama Sunny, the Dasa Bhukti effects will take uh, will come back into effect and will take over. So Mercury being next to Venus. Well, this person prizes because Buddhan Mercury also represents book knowledge, education, academia. This person would do well studying after the effect of Ashtamasani. This person is since born in June 1990, would be right now 32 years old. And uh, in that house, third house, the house of courage, house of younger siblings, right? Chances of having two uh, female siblings is quite high because Mercury itself uh, is a sexless or a genderless kind of planet, just like uh, Saturn is a genderless planet. Saturn is a very, very old person, if you want to think of it as a person, a planet taking on the persona of a personality. Saturn is a very old woman or an old man. How old? Well, imagine about 103, roughly. A 103-year-old person, whether you're a male or female, doesn't matter. You Most likely you are spiritual. Even if you're a female, you are spiritual at 103. You are at death's door and you only can reminisce about the life you had. So output is very minimal from that kind of person. Input is uh, very great. Someone has to take care of a 103-year-old. So male, female, doesn't matter. So Saturn takes on that kind of, Saturn is a very matured old person. Mercury is a very young person, male or female, like an infant. The needs of a male or a female infant is the same. Love, care, uh, roof over the head, uh, food must be uh, given at uh, appropriate time. There must be care, uh, protection from the hazards of the world, right? So uh, paternal and uh, maternal love has to be given. So same thing. So the middle part is where all the other planets, well, whatever the genders of the planets, like Venus is a female planet, uh, Jupiter is a male, Mars is a very, very masculine planet, uh, also represents courage, uh, is like a soldier, and whatnot. So coming back to the uh, analysis of the third house, Younger siblings, uh, chances of uh, females is very high. Also, Venus representing romance and Rishabham and Tulam, especially Tulam represents a house of uh, falling in love uh, and getting married to the person they like uh, and not through arranged marriage and whatnot, because the house of Tulam has also got the um, Drishti of Guru 
So it's also uh, magnified. And looking at Guru in Midhanam is at 23 degrees, 58 minutes, or so roughly 24 degrees. So looking at uh, Tulam, it would uh, most likely look at uh, Swadi and uh, part of uh, the next uh, star as well. So what's going to happen to this person? In terms of income capabilities, yes, it will take the entire Ashtamansani affecting income. So the person will only be able to secure a job after 23rd of January, 2023. And Buddha uh, Dasa Buddha Bukti would take over. So again, like I mentioned, teaching career, not just being a government teacher, uh, in a government school, but teaching maybe tuition, teaching, uh, being a consultant for a company where you teach the current market trends, the uh, best practices out there, all right? Uh, yeah, so all those things where there is a classroom kind of environment um, and there is some kind of a training going on. There's a knowledge transfer that is happening. So this person can do that also. Moon, Sun, and Jupiter is in Mercury's house. Another signification of Mercury is IT. So possibilities of having remote training, remote teaching uh, through online uh, systems. That is another possibility. So gradual increase of income. It's not going to be like after January, like February or March next year, everything is going to be positive for this person. No, it's going to um, improve in stages. And also uh, being close with the mother, closeness with mother will improve over time. Fourth house is a Kendra house. It's not one of the Ubaya stan, like third uh, sixth, ninth, eleventh houses, those are Ubayastanam. Like if you were to look at the eleventh house, house of Labam, where Rahu is sitting, house uh, before that, Sunny is sitting. Uh, so there are two malefic planets back to back in 10 and 11. So what does that mean? Well, for a Mina Lagnam native, this person will have a much better second part of their life after the coming in of a husband. And there's only one marriage for this person uh, because the 11th house is not as strong as the seventh. Um, Sunny is going to delay getting a proper uh, life partner, a proper spouse because being seven houses away from the Rasi, right? So those are the, just the overview of an Ashtamasani effect of a particular native. Just to show uh, you guys a full-fledged negative effect of Ashtamasani, coming back to the point that Sani is sitting on an Uttratadi uh, star owned by the sun, which is by itself a star. So health-wise, sixth house is uh, owned by the sun, right? And the sixth house is in the fourth, uh, sixth house owner is in the fourth house, uh, heartache, uh, like I said, capabilities of bearing children is uh, put on hold. And uh, in turn, that will cause some uh, complications in the talks of marriages for this native. But third house, Mercury is there. So Mercury is the one who is going to solve the sickness. Any medical issues will be solved by significators of the third house and the 11th house. So these are the effects. But uh, the Mercury dasa, Kedu Bukti, would be much better for this person. That is when this person will actually be able to bear children, Mercury Dasa Kedu Bukti. That would be uh, after 2024. So this person is going to have a very good 
Mercury Dasa, 17 years, after followed by Kedu Dasa, seven years. And then you have 20 years of Sukran, which is the third house owner and the eighth house owner. So there will be some kind of challenges coming again overseas at that time. So being separated from family, but growth through overseas travel is there very strong for this piece, uh, for this native. So these are just an overview of uh, Ashtamasani native for Midana Rasi. And I hope you found it helpful. Uh, you can use it as a reference for your own chart. But if you need a, a very profound reading of your own uh, Rasi chart, uh, please reach out to me either in the comment or you can send me a personal email. Email details are in the channel description of this channel of mine. And again, it's always nice to come online and uh, share my analysis uh, with you folks who are actually going through a tough time. Uh, I understand sometimes, uh, I especially after two and a half years of going through Ashtamasani, the last sprint, Six months is not going to be easy because you've been in the darkness, in the tunnel for so long, and there's only so long you can bear. You know, time is running out and uh, you need to do things. I understand that. You need to progress. So I'm going to talk about uh, the last six months for Mindana Rasi in a separate video. And uh, I hope you all stay safe. I hope you all uh, are able to pull through this uh, successfully and uh, do not worry they, everyone who is about 40 50 years old would have gone through a midlife uh, ashtamasani so we are all here to share our knowledge and experience and i'm here to just tell you that uh, you will succeed you will come out of it with uh, your head head, uh, head held high so i wish you all the best and we will talk again soon thank you